Dear friends, today I have a, a question on Goss's law and the question is uh, from Bhavadeep Vamza. Hello sir, my name is Bhavadeep and I am from Gujarat, Amreli. Sir, in Goss law we say that we can take any Gaussian surface and also say that in the equation e dot ds equal to q by epsilon naught. The right side term Q is the charge inside the Gaussian surface and the left side term E is resultant electric field. Sir, now here is the problem. Sir, how can we find electric field at any point without taking all the charges? So that is the basic question that uh, on the right side we take only the charge inside the Gaussian surface and claim that the electric field that we obtain from here is from all the charges present. So that is the basic question that how can we find electric field at any point without taking all the charges in consideration. So that is the question. Now to understand this, the Gauss's law is not about the electric field at one point. It is about the flux of the electric field on a closed surface in the form that we study. There is another form of Gauss's law which talks point to point electric field also, but forget that. So our, our Gauss's law is written as integration of E dot ds. There is a circle out here. So it is a closed surface. And this is equal to Q inside and divided by epsilon naught. And then yes, very good. This is charge inside the Gaussian surface. Which is a closed surface, remember. And this is the resultant electric field. This is the resultant electric field due to all the charges present anywhere inside or outside. But it is not telling you what is the electric field at a certain point. You have a closed surface, this is a closed surface and here is a point on the closed surface and you construct a small area here, call that as ds, this is your ds area, this is your ds area and the electric field at this point is this E. But then you have to do this E dot ds, add for all such elements on the surface, then you get the left hand side. So it is not giving you the electric field at this point. It is giving you the sum of integration of all such electric field dot ds, electric field dot ds, electric field dot ds, electric field dot ds. And that flux happens to be equal to the charge inside only these charges which are sitting somewhere inside some q1, q2 but there are charges q3, q4, there are charges like this and this electric field that we are talking is because of all these charges, this plus this plus this. It is claimed that is the resultant electric field of all. Why? Because if you take an outside charge, suppose this charge and only because of this, how much is the electric field here? Only because of this, how much the electric field is here? And that electric field, if you use in the left hand side, that will be zero. That will be zero because if you take, it is a closed surface remember, if you have a, a an element here, then you also have elements somewhere here, somewhere here. It crosses. So the E dot ds is positive here, 
or negative here e dot ds is of opposite sign here so this total flux because of these charges is zero and therefore only the inside charges will give you this uh, flux is equal to inside charges divided by epsilon naught so that is the story so be very confident this is the electric field due to all the charges present and this is the charge only inside and still it works so now the question arises that how do we apply gauss's law and get the electric field at a certain point due to a charge distribution but you cannot do it always in all conditions for example suppose you want electric field due to this charge single charge this charge only there is no other charge then uh, the gauss law is fine the field here will be decided by this length q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught and then r square and field here will be different because it will be different r the distance is now different so using gauss's law you cannot get what is the electric field here what is the electric field here but the gauss's law is still true so gauss's law can be applied and you can get electric field at a certain point only for certain symmetric charge distribution for example one of the examples that you do a spherical charge distribution with constant uniform charge density so if you are looking for that you have a sphere and in that sphere it's a uniformly charged the charge density is rho everywhere and then you want to find the electric field at this point there are no other charges given that there are no other charges then you say that okay let us make another concentric sphere and then on that sphere we take a certain point and here at this point the electric field e and then you say that the electric field must be in this direction ds is also in this direction so integration of e dot ds it's same as e ds cos theta which is equal to e ds and now you apply the symmetry that since the this point and this point and this point and this point they are equivalent as far as this is concerned you cannot distinguish this point with that point and that point with this point apart from the direction so the magnitude of electric field here must be same as here must be same is here same as here and therefore you take this e out and then you can uh, get that uh, electric field this is e ds now this e is unique this e is unique and then you do all kinds of calculation e times 4 pi epsilon naught r square and so on and from there you get the electric field here so you get point by point electric field only if there is a symmetry in the charge distribution and you use that you use that then you can get point by point electric field otherwise gauss's law is valid in all conditions